Hello, it's Bob from Nature Manufacture. I would like to show you how to import our modular castle and dungeon pack into the HTTP project. The thing is that it should be project without samples because the project with samples could have messed HTTP setting. So yeah, first of all, we import our pack into the HTTP project. So now open the asset files and find HT and UFP support pack folder and you will find Unity package here which are responsible for converting uh, built-in files into HTTP files. Basically this, uh, this Unity package contains shaders, material, prefabs and HTTP settings which will convert built-in into HTTP. Uh, it's very important to import proper support pack into proper engine version because, you know, for 2023.2, we have a ERP and HTTP 16. And these files will not work properly at lower engine versions. Uh, and files from lower engine versions will not probably not work properly at higher engine versions. So if you migrate to other engine version, for example, you update or you want to use lower engine version, download files from the asset store and you will get dedicated files from the asset store just to the engine version. So all features uh, which are at actual, actual engine version will be supported. It's very important because Sometimes you may even do not notice that something doesn't work properly because the files are not, I mean, basically the shaders are not exactly for this engine version, especially when HTRP or URP uh, have pretty big jumps between versions and they add a lot of features between uh, them and simply without uh, updated shaders directly for this engine version, you may simply have a bug on the screen. Bigger or smaller, it depends from amount of changes that Unity made in the shading at HTLP, for example. Okay, so we import the support pack. It will just uh, take a moment. Mm -hmm. Like I said, it will convert the files into HTRP. After that, we could open our demo scene and check if everything works fine. And let's do this. And it seems just for the first view, seems everything works correctly. Uh, the render is pretty fine, but there is a thing that we have to fix. It's a material that use subsurface profiles. At the moment they render in debug mode, so we go to each material like that, or we could simply drag and drop profiles uh, from the into the list at HTLP global settings. So just the easiest way is to open every material that are rendered wrong and click fix button. Mm. The same we make the same step we make for the smoke. Let's uh, also click fix. And the last material is obsidian glass. It's called just obsidian. Let's also click fix for it. Okay, but they still render wrong. In the most engine version, it is enough. But for 2023.2, we have to just reload the scene. So let's open it again. And yeah, it worked. Another step for us will be fixed reflection props because we have a multiple reflection props at the scene. Uh, they cross the atlas, size atlas, and they cross number of the reflection props at the screen. So we go to our uh, HTRP setting and we type 
reflection probe. Let's find these options in our HTLP and let's expand the number of reflection probe at the screen to 64. And also we have we see that there is an error with uh, that the data, the amount of data in Atlas have been crossed. So let's expand the reflection probe Atlas, for example, into 8 to 8K. Probably you could use lower value, just depends. Uh, on the amount of the reflection props. So yeah, now the reflections are just fine at our screen. If we will look at our uh, demo scene, we see that seems now everything uh, rendered properly. There are volumetric effects, uh, post-processing work correctly. Uh, if we enter the temple we see that auto exposure also work fine. And yeah, uh, what we could uh, say more. Let's talk about light maps because uh, for this demo scene, we prepare light maps that are nine pixels per one meter. It's a bit low. The final rendering, the final screens we made at 16, but it's a bit too high. It's just so for the screens, uh, I suggest to use 12. Mm, first of all, bake the scene at uh, 4 pixels per, per 1 meter just to build GI cache for future baking. It will really speed up the future baking. And after that, just set, for example, value 12 and it will be totally enough for, the, for this scene. We build this scene just to uh, render properly at 12 pixels per, per one meter. If we talk about lighting, we, you have to notice that Unity provides new system for light probe. It's called light probe volumes and we prepared files for old light probe groups and the new light probe volume system. New light probe volume system is pretty fast it's GPU based, so uh, you get better result. Just get more light props on the on the scene, and it's done automatically. While the old uh, light prop group are placed manually, uh, yeah, let's compare these two uh, systems. Just let's type light probe in HTTP setting. And we will find the option which is responsible for switching between these two systems. And let's do this. Let by default we have uh, at this Unity version we have light probe volumes. Let's switch this to light probe group and see if we will find the difference. Let's do this. In our scene, in most cases, you will not find the difference, but there are a few places that uh, will look much better. Uh, if we'll go higher, we'll find that, for example, at this place, we place not enough light props. But if we will switch this to light probe volumes, it's fixed. Uh, just uh, let me show you why it's fixed and uh, how many light props are generated by the uh, light probe volume system. Let's go to the debug mode. Let's open in debug, debug mode. Let's open lighting and probe volume. Let's, uh, let's reduce the draw distance and increase the size of the probes so we will see them. And you see there's uh, about three unity units between each probe and it's huge amount of props at the scene. Besides that, it's on GPU. Uh, I think uh, it's huge amount and uh, you will not place uh, such a big amount of props by hand. If we go to the light prop groups and uh, we check the light props on the hierarchy, we will find how many props I placed manually at the scene and 
In most cases, it's enough. I placed about 6,000 of light props manually, while the system plays automatically about 100,000. You could play with both systems and compare. Uh, if we go to the overview scene, uh, you will no notice that we have about 1,300 of prefabs from the leaks, the ornaments, paths, ground textures, rocks, walls, different type of walls, uh, and of course floors. We have the roofs, the metal objects, doors, yeah, the stone doors, the wood doors, barriers, ornaments, yeah. Mm. Even bricks, from small single brick up to long battered lines, uh, just to speed up building. The columns, huge amount of columns, uh, different type of columns, which you could use to build your dendron or castle, mostly interiors. Of course, there is a glass, which is subsurface. Uh, yeah, we have bridge parts and bridge which is predefined, I mean built by us, so you just place it in the scene and forget. You have uh, towers uh, from uh, multiple uh, paths. If you simply have a X and Z position the same on the path, you just change the Y position and you could build uh, your tower up in totally different configuration that we did. Yeah, we, you have gates and uh, Merron's part, uh, the wall part or, or even budget parts, I mean the prefabs built by us, the balconies, and of course a tower, even wizard tower is a prefab that you could place at your scene, your own, the interior parts, and uh, of course the temple. Uh, temple is also in parts, you could uh, make smaller or bigger temple, uh, as only objects have the same position, you could simply match the every part of the temple uh, together. So this is how we build this prefab. Besides, of course, the temple and its parts, uh, you will also find the buildings. We are going to prepare even more building and house prefabs. For example, town hall and a lot more we are going to prepare and we are preparing at the moment and you know just we are doing this to uh, show you the potential of the path uh, what you could build yourself to inspire you and yeah just give us a feedback uh, play with the pack and see you soon